The Irish last kicker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Go ahead, Byron, get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. Here comes the Queen! And her partner from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. First ever women's hell in a cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. Oh my God. Calm down. And their opponents. First, from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. Why does the screen always get so blurry when Mandy Rose comes out here? Because it's like a dream come true, Saxton. Don't talk. Just open your eyes and enjoy. I can't. They're watery. Mandy Rose, a success story from toughen up former bodybuilding and fitness champion. One of the most beautiful women to ever grace. WWE. Are you okay over there, Corey? Shh. Don't ruin this, Byron. A true star, no doubt about it. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And her partner. From Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Tremendous attitude, MMA background, punch you right in your face. Yeah, Sonia Deville once said she feels like she was placed on this earth to hurt people. Disciplined, driven, in fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time in mixed martial arts. Big-time tag team match underway here. And look at Suplex. Incredible. 
It's no secret that Becky Lynch is one of the toughest superstars in WWE. It takes a lot to bring the last kicker down. Corey, where do you think that toughness comes from? Well, remember, Cole, Becky was a tomboy as a kid and endured grueling training for the ring courtesy of one Finn Balor. I saw her train in NXT. It's going to take a lot to keep Becky down. What a drop kick right to the back. Nailed it. You've got to believe this one's over. To add on to our point about Becky Lynch's toughness, she might annoy me beyond description, but her opposition must land everything in their arsenal if they want any chance to defeat the Irish last kick. That's true, Corey. There aren't too many superstars tougher than the fiery Irish redhead. The flame that burns inside Becky Lynch to succeed is more real than anyone can imagine. Stop! Right across the spine. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Beautiful technique. Ooh. Harsh impact. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer, former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon, used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. What a stop! Good grief! Haymaker connects. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Boom, what impact! Tagged in. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, God, that hurt. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. That's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. And here comes Charlotte. She might have Charlotte with the spear. She's in the driver's seat now. And Charlotte does what she does best. In order to... The Queen looking to finish things off. Here's the figure four. Oh. To the figure eight. This is all but over. Charlotte, whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, they worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. T-bone! Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face! This might be it! Oh, my! Boom! <laughs> Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. She's taking on the Exploder. There is no coming back from that one. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, what impact. She's calling for it. Got him. Got the up. Got the disarmer. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Oh, while her love affair with the WWE Universe brings me severe nausea, 
I have total respect for how Becky Lynch became the revolutionary superstar she is today. The Irish last kicker started training for the ring at just 15 years old. Touching on Becky Lynch's training that you mentioned, Corey, those grueling workouts were held in a small room with only a few gym mats, and the Ireland-based wrestling school was run by none other than Finn Balor. That's where Becky developed her take-on-anyone attitude, guys. Before Becky knew it, she was competing in her native Ireland and had stamps in her passport from battles all around the world. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The Spike Pile Driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the Heart Attack from the Heart Foundation, the Rocker Dropper from the Rockers, or the Doomsday Device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team. She's looking at it. Look at her go. What a strike. Axe Handle finds its target. Legs. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. Some good technique right there. And here comes Charlotte. Ease! To the kidneys. God, oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Backpack stunner. What a stop. Good grief. Oh, continuing to punish them. Charlotte is measuring. Set up from behind. Natural selection. That's it. That's what she needed. Yeah, that move amazes me. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. They did it. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. and Charlotte Flair. A very impressive victory. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. I hope you set your DVRs, folks, because that match is worth going back and watching again.